What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin and I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So today we're going to start another little playlist of chasing the best chainsaw bar. So today up on the chopping block is the Canon Duralite Super Bar. Uh, this thing is near and dear to my heart. Um, these chainsaw bars are very expensive, but I think they're well worth it. If you're interested in what I have to say about it, well then I guess you have to stay tuned. Alright guys, just so you know exactly what we're doing in this series, we're, we are comparing 28 inch chainsaw bars. They are all in 3 8 pitch. 5.0 gauge. Um, I will probably say that more in the video, but for right now, I want to give you guys the rundown that we are testing the Canon. I have a Windsor, a Forester Pro, a Sugihara Steel, uh, regular and steel light, an Oregon reduced weight, a Sumara bar, and I think that's it. So we're, uh, we're testing about eight or nine bars. I've put a lot of wood through a couple of them and we're still getting through um, some of the others as I'm cutting firewood for the season. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to it. We're going to the woods. All right guys, so I wanted to do some chainsaw bar testing. Um, in specific, I wanted to test 28 inch chainsaw bars from a lot of different manufacturers. Now. I've been out cutting a little bit this afternoon, uh, trying to get stuff under control here at the Durbin compound. And I've decided that I better um, talk about the Canon Duralite Super Bar. So the Canon Duralite, I've been running this for uh, quite a few cords of wood now. Um, I don't know exacts. I've been pretty much doing my due diligence on every bar, just trying to get a feel for them and see exactly what I think about them. So uh, if you've been around my channel before, uh, you know that I'm not 100% scientific about things, um, and I really don't care about the nitty gritty when it comes to scientific stuff, like what is the bar made out of, um, getting into the metallurgy and stuff like that. It's not really uh, my forte here around the channel, but I will talk about fit and finish and functionality and things like that. So the one thing I like about the Canon Duralite bar is that the fit and finish is absolutely perfect. Um, when they say precision groove, the thing, you barely have any wiggle in the chain. It is slotted absolutely perfect. So, and you really notice it, you don't get a lot of chatter on the chain. Um, it really just, uh, it really just runs great. So I'm running all these bars, 28 inch, uh, 3 8 pitch, 5 0 gauge, uh, and I'm, I'm running them all on the same saw, the 462. So I'm giving them all the same, uh, same condition, same scenario, same chain, um, and just seeing what they do. So this bar comes in at just over three pounds. So three pounds, three quarter ounces, um, if you want to get specific. Um, you really it's a it's a well-balanced bar for a 28 inch um, it fits this saw perfectly it looks good it feels good um, the one thing I will say about Canon is although they're a little heavier uh, than a lot of the other reduced weight bars it makes for a lot of rigidity so um, when you talk about putting your uh, the tip in the wood if you're bore cutting um, you basically have very little flex in the bar um, it is a very rigid bar I would say it's just as rigid, uh, if not more rigid, than uh, Forrester Platinum or something along those lines. Uh, when you get into Sugihara and um, you know your Japanese steel bars they're really bendy and you can almost um, just flip it back and forth and you can see the bar deflect so um, not really something that I like but I know that some people do so um, you're not going to get that with the Canon uh, the Canon is you know an awesome bar it looks good um, I've had no complaints and I can't see anywhere yet so I'm really liking that um, I had my uh, Sugihara out for a couple outings. I cut 
uh, six or seven trees and I'm already having some finish wearing off on that. I will show you guys that in a uh, in a video in the future, but I've already seen some finish wearing off that and that's kind of disappointing, especially for a bar that you spend over $100 on. Um, you know, I, I expect more. So when I spend the money on a Canon, I, you know, by all means, I better get that kind of fit and finish. Um, that I'm looking for. And I've had great dealings with this company. Uh, I reached out to every single uh, chainsaw bar manufacturer from Oregon to Steel to Canon. And you know who emailed me back from Canon? The CEO himself. So I asked a nonchalant question, just wanted to know exactly how much it weighed. He sent me back all the stats on the bar um, in specific grams, exactly what it was. I could not believe that the CEO of the company is emailing me back and I'm just some regular old Joe. No clue about a YouTube channel, didn't say anything about YouTube, um, just an all around good dude. So, you know, uh, folks out of Canada, folks out of Minnesota, um, just naturally nice people. I, I don't know, those are the two places that I've ran into, like genuinely nice people that have um, literally been over backwards for me and they don't even know me. So, um, I'm sure they're like that in many other parts of the country, but I'm just saying those two specifics. So, um, I really love running his bar. Um, this is not a paid sponsorship. I paid, um, I paid dealer pricing for this because I contacted um, the the company directly. Um, this bar will run you about 250 bucks. Now it is high end. It is top of the line when it comes to price, and I think it's top of the line when it comes to quality. Uh, it, it, the weight and you know giving up a little bit of weight for that uh, that rigidity is just you know, something that I really, really don't mind at all. It's a well-balanced bar um, and it runs great. Um, that precision groove is really important. You you don't get any chatter and, you know, it, it just runs awesome. So I love that I can't see any wear and tear on this bar, no matter how many times I've used it or bore cut with it or made mistakes and pinched it. Um, I'm seeing no wear on this. So, you know, the lettering is starting to come off just a little bit, but you wouldn't believe just just how much wood I've cut with this. Um, I don't know exactly how many cords, but I've probably put a good uh, six, seven cords through this bar alone this year. So um, I'm definitely doing a lot of cutting with it. I've been through, you know, um, quite a lot of hours with this bar and I really, really like it. So if you're looking at the Canon Super Bar um, in general, if you're looking at the Duralite in specific, it's an awesome bar. It's definitely worth your money and time to to, uh, go out and get one. Um, at this point, I'm rambling, um, but I just in enjoy this kind of stuff. So um, if you have any questions or comments, put them below uh, and I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I'm out here sweating like a pig uh, while I'm trying to get some firewood cut and drug out of the woods. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. Of course, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. We will be, ch um, we will be looking at other bars in the future. Um, I've got uh, bars from Oregon, Forrester, um, Windsor, Sugihara, uh, Sumara, and um, I'm sure I'm forgetting some other ones. Steel light, um, steel regular, you know, uh, but this bar definitely is uh, making a huge impression on me and I love it all the much.